Hi there, thanks for stopping by. I'm going to explain how to make a great video ad the easy way. In this video, I'm going to give you the seven secret ingredients for a successful video ad. And I'm also going to break down the essentials that you need to consider before you make your ad. Now, I'm gonna save the secret ingredients for the end. But first, I'm gonna give you the groundwork for making a great ad. And these are the things that you must consider before you start. The first basic consideration is, who is your audience? Try to figure out who your perfect customer is first. Think about things like age, gender, income, and their interests. This will help you target your ads to exactly the right people. Next up, you need to get really clear with yourself about what the problem is that you're solving. Whether you're selling a product or a service, or if you're marketing an event or a course, you need to be really clear about this. For example, if you make razors, the problem you're solving isn't a hairy chin like mine. What you're actually solving is bad skin caused by razor burn, expensive shaving products, or the feeling of not being handsome enough. The next big thing to give some thought to is where is the best place to find your audience? This will have some impact on the ratio you choose for your video and the length you make it. These days, as a general rule of thumb, the most affordable place to reach your target audience is social media. In particular, Facebook and Instagram have the most sophisticated targeting systems for paid ads. If you go that route, you're safest with a square video for newsfeed placement. YouTube is also great for pre-roll ads. If you make those, then you'll need good old 16 by nine format. And if you're selling B2B, then you'll wanna advertise on LinkedIn. This is best done in 16 by nine as well, just like YouTube. With regards to length, for Facebook, you'll want your paid ads to be short like 30 seconds or less. And for YouTube, it's the same thing. Maybe shoot for 20 seconds as your gold standard. For LinkedIn, also shoot for 30 seconds. Now that all these essentials are out of the way, we can dive into the fun stuff, the secret ingredients for great ads. We've got seven of them. The first one is probably the most important. And this is a tried and trusted formula that has served marketers for decades. And it's as simple as this. Empathize with your customer's problem and then show them how you can solve it and in the process, make their life better. Let's go back to the razor example. Let's say the problem we're solving is bad skin caused by razor burn. Start your ad by asking if the viewer is sick of looking bad because of razor burn. Then explain how your product will help them look and feel better by using your razor. You've just explained how your product improves their life. Who doesn't want a better life? Another approach is to skip the empathy step and just take the viewer straight to the emotional place that they want to be. This is as simple, or could be as simple, as showing a happy person and linking them to what you're selling. If you like this idea and you wanna get started quickly, you could try this template of dancing people. It's infectiously happy. Something else that all good ads have is that they focus on benefits and not features. No one really cares about all the amazing innovations in the thing you're selling. What people wanna know is how will it benefit their lives and solve a specific problem they're having. For example, your razors aren't 100 times sharper just for the sake of it. They're 100 times sharper to give you a 100 times smoother shave without nicks or scratches or grazes, that sort of thing. Now, another important thing to keep in mind is that great ads speak to their target audience. Remember how I talked about your perfect audience earlier, this is where that comes into play. Make sure your ad speaks to your niche. Now, you're not rolling out a global campaign, so you don't have to inspire the world with your creativity. But what you do need to do is directly address the problem and the emotion they're seeking. You can do this best by keeping your message direct, clear, and really factual. Avoid waffle and avoid abstract concepts. Now for the sixth secret ingredient, and that's the call to action at the end of your video. Be very clear with the viewer about the action they need to take. Don't waste the engagement your video has created. In the shaver example, the call to action would be something like shop now, or if you were selling a course, it might be buy your tickets now. Whatever it is, put it at the end. Now for number seven, my last tip for a great video. This tip is make it feel native. As I mentioned earlier, be sure to use the right ratio for your ad placement and use content that feels right for the channel. Formal ads are less likely to perform well on Facebook than they are on LinkedIn. And a square video would feel weird on YouTube, but it's perfect for Facebook. Make sure that your ad feels right for the platform you're using it on. Now you know all the theory behind making the perfect video ad. Now, if this feels like a lot to process, don't worry. You can always grab a template from Biteable. Just go to biteable.com slash templates. They're made by marketing professionals so you don't have to become one yourself. If you like this video and you want more marketing tips, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching and till next time.